What's up, what's up, what's up, what's up, my surgical techs, surgical tech students. Uh, my name is Nick. Welcome to my channel uh, to, on how to pass the surgical technician exam. I recently took it in March and I passed it. I believe the passing score was one or two. I got something like 115. I'm not an expert, but I'm just going to tell you a few tips what I, that I did um, and pass the exam. First things first, you want to give yourself three to four months of studying time. It's a lot of information. 175 questions, they can go anywhere with these questions. So you want to be make sure you go through everything thoroughly. Um, like I said, three to four months, I recommend. Um, secondly, I recommend that you sign up for the AST. I believe they give you a discount on your exam and then they also send you a monthly issue of the um, journal, Surgical Technology Journal, which looks like this. Um, and also, the thing that helped me the most, you want to go and get one of those apps. And you want to do questions, 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 questions. Um, I go by the five P's. Proper preparation prevents poor performance. So you want to be fully prepared. Um, one of the apps that I use, Lange app, that's really great. And that's L-A-N-G-E app. You can find it in your app store, whether it be Android or Apple. It's there. ASD also has an app. Um, you can also find that in there. It's also a, another app that I use that goes together with this book. A lot of you guys are familiar with this book. And it's uh, the Elsevier app. Make sure you have the correct uh, edition. And that's also good because you can customize the app. And you just want to do questions. You just want to keep doing questions. I recommend you do start off with doing 175 questions a day and then as soon as you get comfortable with that taking the time of yourself you know give yourself about an hour hour 10 minutes and try to knock out 175 questions the real life t test you know they'll give you about two hours I believe but you you know you want to just give yourself about an hour hour and a half um, and just keep building your skills up because you know, uh, to sit down there and take 175 questions at a time, it's tougher than you think. So you want to be prepared for that. And as you get better and better with the questions, you want to gradually move up to taking them 175 questions two times a day. That's what I did. Um, and it really helped. Because what happens is a lot of times as you take the questions, it starts, you know, building a pattern. You start you know, uh, seeing certain things over and over again, and then you start learning from that. Also, once you take in the questions, right, on your multiple choice, all the answers that you do know, you want to go ahead, I'm sorry, all the answers that you don't know, you want to go ahead and look that up also, and then add that to your study routine and add that to your books, that, you know, your study, your study guide. You want to study that. So you Let's just say, you know, you know the answer to, the answer is A, but you don't know B and you don't know D. You would look that up and then also you just go ahead and get the definition and learn that and then add that to your, to your study. Okay. Now, you want to get the Pearson's Surgical Technology Exam Review, third edition book, okay, by Emily Rogers and others. That's a really great book. You want to do your reviewing from that book. Also, you want to review what you know and spend more time on the stuff that you don't know. Because this book kind of breaks it down in specialties. It breaks down pharmacology, um, all the high yield questions that are coming in pharmacology. It gives you a few anatomy, a um, few mat. Um, the book is really good. You want to start from the top and go all the way back. Like I said, review the things that you do know. Don't spend too much time on that. But the things that you don't know, you want to spend more time and you want to study that over and over. So you want to do this book with the questions. 
the 175 and then work your way up to the three, uh, 350. All right. Um, also, Lange, L-A-N-G-E, also has a book that's pretty good. Everybody in the surgical technology uh, field, they kind of know it as the yellow book. I know when I was asking people, you know, what should I study, uh, what book should I use, they kept on telling me, get that yellow book, which is the L-A-N-G-E, the Lange book. You want to get that. So those two books, you definitely want to get. You might have to spend a little bit of money. You can go on eBay or you can go on um, Amazon and get it used. Just make sure you get the latest edition um, and you want to, you know, add those books for reviews plus the review you have from school and those questions. Those questions are very important. You want to go a lot of times every day, try to, like I said, do the 175 two times a day um, and you should be on the money. Also, you guys want to know your anatomy. You definitely want to know your anatomy. Try to know your anatomy inside and out. Because a lot of those questions come from anatomy questions. You got to know your anatomy in order to answer certain questions. Know your pharmacology. Okay. Um, instruments. I know in my test I had a lot of instruments. They'll show you a picture of an instrument and ask you, you know, what um, specialty this instrument may be used in. And it may have two right answers on there, but you just got to figure out which one is the best answer. So just know your instruments, um, the cranial nerves, know your cranial, cranial nerves, you know, know all of them, all 12 of them, know those. Also, uh, medical terminology. Those were a lot of questions that I got in medical terminology, and those are easy questions you don't want to miss. Okay, so make sure you're on point with those. This book right here, guys, is a really good book for, make sure you can see it, uh, for your instruments. It goes through uh, specialty by specialty, all the instruments you need to know. Um, I mean, you don't have to go with this book. Just go with any book that gives you all the instruments. You want to really get into that instruments, all right? Also, it helps when you're in clinicals. And, you know, for me, I remembered certain things that, came up on my test and you know I just thought back in when I was doing a case oh yeah I used this instrument before and what case did I use the instrument before and you know that gave me the answer right there oh, alright this is an ortho instrument or this is an ENT instrument so it kinda you know clicks you know try to remember your cases um, take logs you know do notes and all of these things help for the exam the exam is a little bit different, guys, I'm telling you. Uh, make sure when you study uh, for information, you study it all the way around. You know, Think about every possible way they can ask you that question and create scenarios and answer them because uh, the exam, that's how they ask it. They come a little bit tricky and a little bit different. What else? Uh, when you become an AST member, they also send you a practice exam booklet. It looks something like this. All right, you wanna go through those booklets, those questions. Some of those things come back. You may find a few of those questions, or they may ask it a different way, but it's the same questions um, on the actual tests. So one of my prime um, tips that I can give to you guys, man, just do questions questions, questions. I know I said that before and I'm going to say it again. I can't stress that enough. Just do a lot of questions. Also, um, the last two days coming up to your exam, I suggest that you don't do no more questions. You don't do no more studying. Um, just clear your mind. You want to be in a positive mind state. Um, the night of the exam, you want to make sure you get good rest. Set your alarm clock, get your ID, get your AST number, get all these things together and um, get prepared for your test, you know, the following morning. You want to be there on time, you know, have your pencil, have your, uh, your pen, um, your driver's license, 
and any other things that you may need, you know, your director would let you know that the day before or prior to the test. And you want to go in there with that mind state like, I'm about to crush this test. I'm about to own this test. Why? Why are you about to own this test? Is because you're pre prepared, sorry. You're prepared. You had three months. You, you went over and over these questions. You reviewed your book over and over and over, and it's about to pay off. You about to go in there and own that test. So I want to say good luck to everybody who's going to take the test soon. Um, if you guys need any, you know, personal tips or any more information that I can help you with, you know, feel free to leave a comment, um, email me. Um, I may get back to you guys as soon as possible. Um, don't forget to like my video. And don't like, forget to subscribe. Thank you guys for watching my video. And I appreciate you guys. Thanks.